This is the only tech channel too sexy for the algorithm. That's a natural quote that somebody said. Hello players, come on in, all of you, full screen, pants off, yes, and the music slowly dies down to show that we are normal, calm, and relaxed. <laughs> You're not normal, you're here for a start. That's, that's 10 crazy points right there, and I love it. <laughs> all right, welcome to Sexy Tug, I'm your host and tech jester, Bob Stringer. You're, if, you're, if you're new here, you've probably left already. <laughs> but if you're one of the 135 crazies, i have shocked you click my face again, but it's good to have you here. But if this, if this is your first time, don't worry, I'll, I'll go slow. We do tech news wrapped up in nonsense. The tech news is accurate, and the nonsense, not so much. Also, I say we, I, I can't afford to hire anyone, the cameraman is a plushie. Okay, let's do some stuff. The tech companies made it really easy this week because Google is telling you to eat glue. Just when you think Google search can't get any worse, they pull this one out the bag. Someone Googled cheese not sticking to pizza and Google's AI response replied with cheese can slide off pizza for a number of reasons, including too much cheese or thickened sauce. Here are some tips you can try. Mix in sauce, mix cheese into the sauce to help add moisture and add cheese to dry out the sauce. That's that's fine. That's, that's good cheese making advice right there. You can also add about one eighth cup of non-toxic glue to the sauce to give it more tackiness. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Gordon Ramsay. I don't even think Bing could have been less helpful. Yeah, sure, just add some glue, some wax, tar, blue tack, uh, I don't know, what, what else is sticky? I look forward to your comments. But do make sure to cut it with safety scissors and pair it with a nice glass of non-toxic paint thinner. <laughs> the original suggestion of using glue clearly came from a Reddit joke post made 11 years ago. This is because Google is paying Reddit $60 million a year for this premium dumpster fire content. Google's AI isn't just a fountain of recycled Reddit jokes and <laughs> posts, it's an hallucination machine. You know that scene in Inception where everything's kind of folding in itself? Yeah, that's Google search results right now. That's, that's one step away from Google recommending eating Tide Pods again. Google's AI is about as intelligent as a rock, but less useful. At least you can throw a rock at something or make pizza toppings with it, so I'm told. <laughs> Google CEO is probably sitting in the kitchen looking at all this fire going, this is fine. The AI search has given us even more wisdom. If you ask it if cats have ever been on the moon, it replies with yes. Astronauts have met cats on the moon, played with them, and provided care. <laughs> it added, for example, Neil Armstrong said it's one small step for man because it was a cat step. <laughs> that doesn't even make any logical sense. Buzz Aldrin also deployed cats on the Apollo 11 mission. Fantastic. If you ask it about depression, it suggests jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay, that last one turned out to be fake, but the fact that it's hard to tell which nonsense is real nonsense and which nonsense is fake nonsense means we're really in trouble. This show is real, unadulterated nonsense. If AI starts writing stuff like this and starts saying penis for no reason, I think I might be in trouble. I look forward to your comments. So what's next? Are we doomed to an eternity of Google search results that looks like it's, reads like a fever dream? Will Reddit's shit <laughs> posts continue to poison the well of online knowledge? Well, probably. Last year, Reddit decided it didn't want AI companies scraping its content for free, so it locked them, so it locked its API uh, behind a paywall and started charging. I think it needs to take that money and run. <laughs> I can't wait for next week when Google's AI suggests using a dildo to unclog your toilet because Reddit user KinkyPlumber69 said it worked wonders. <laughs> Google. So Google is showing you things you don't want to see, but so is Apple. Apple's iOS 17.5 update now comes with a zombie photos feature. Apple's newest iOS update has a delightful little surprise. Your long deleted photos are back from the dead. It's, yeah, it's like a horror movie, but instead of zombies, it's your old nudes and embarrassing selfies coming back to your iPhone or nostalgia as I like to call it. <laughs> Imagine you're showing your grandma pictures of your recent trip to Washington. Look, here's the Washington Monument. Ooh, that's smaller than I imagined. Staring, was it? <laughs> ah, poor grandma. Of course the internet is in full freakout mode and who could blame them? One user shared a horror story of trying to send a picture to their partner only to find some not safe for work gems from a few years ago. Or a couple of gems. It's like your iPhone saying, Hey, remember this? Well, neither do I, but here it is anyway. If you, 
If you don't follow this stuff, it can be a really bad situation because these aren't just recently deleted, they are images from years ago. And we are talking about ghosts from relationship past, uh, vacations long forgotten, and seeing if you manage to remove all of that hair. And, and they still seem to pop up even if you have signed out and factory reset your device. Yeah. And if you sold it, the buyer might be in for a nasty surprise. Or a nice surprise. The person I last sold my iPhone to called me. They sounded impressed. We're having lunch on Tuesday. So what's causing all of this? Some say it's an indexing bug, some uh, blame for the photo library corruption, some, a few think it's a syncing issue with iCloud. Hell, it could even be Apple just wanting me to talk about them. <laughs> but look, look I'm, not, I'm not worried about my nudes of Steve Jobs coming back because I never deleted them. So Apple decided to give everyone a digital time capsule, except instead of fond memories, it's filled with shit you'd rather forget. Just like Spotify, Spotify has forgotten how to make its own stuff work. CarThing is a dashboard accessory from Spotify that has a big physical dial that lets you control music in your car without having to fumble with a touchscreen. If that sounds interesting, then too bad, because less than a year after hitting the market, they pulled the plug, and now two years later, they're officially burying the car thing. Come December 9th, every car thing ever sold will become a shiny new addition to the e-waste mountain. Customers who invested in this $90 dashboard accessory are receiving emails letting them know that it's about to go the way of the dodo. And no, Spotify isn't offering refunds or subscription credits or anything like that. They're not even open sourcing it. It's just a big fat, thanks for your money, now throw it away. Spotify claims that this move is part of their efforts to streamline product offerings. They're encouraging users to do a factory reset and recycle responsibly. Because we all know the best way to handle disappointment is with a factory reset. Maybe Spotify should be responsible and not burn people's money. <laughs> Next they'll tell us to download their, their latest app, the Spotify Bonfire, where you can watch your money go up in flames in real time. The whole thing about streamlining product offerings is, you know, corporate speak for we screwed up and now we need to cover our asses. They claim this will help focus on developing new features and enhancements that will provide a better experience for all Spotify users. Because nothing says better experience than ripping up 90 bucks. You could be proudly showing off your new car thing only for it to stop working mid-drive and you say, ah, don't mind that, that's just Spotify reminding me that I make poor life choices. Spotify's uh, FAQ is a masterpiece of corporate spin. They want you to believe that killing off the car thing is all about making things better for the user. Sure, Spotify and I'm the queen of England. Well, I'm, I'm the queen of my local town. I look forward to your comments and requests. If, the, if they really cared about the user experience, maybe they would start by not sending us crap that they plan to abandon within two years. Nobody wants them to be like Google. It's the end of the show. There was no comments in the last video, so there's not really much to talk about here. That means that the last video was, was so perfect that everyone went away feeling better than when they started. Or nobody's watching. It's hard to tell. Stay sexy and be excellent to each other. I just put some moisturizer on. Let that sink in for a moment.